Good afternoon, I'm Rob Wright, Chief Editor of Life Science Leader Magazine. I'm here at the Marriott Marquis in New York City at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference. With me I have Jeremy Levin, CEO and Chairman of Ovid Therapeutics. So Jeremy, I know you're very involved with Bio. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your role and, and you're chairing another organization now. What, what is it? So, Rob, within Bio, we've established a very important working group. That working group is focused on the opioid crisis, mm -hmm. and I'm chairing that and have the great pleasure to work with the staffers in Bio and about 40 different CEOs. So what do you think needs to take place as far as changing the paradigm of pain management treatment that has resulted in the current opioid addiction epidemic that we have? Well, there are several important things here. Number one is to understand the dimensions of this problem. There are 100 million patients in the United States who suffer from pain, more than cancer, more than Alzheimer's. The cost to the nation is about $650 billion per year. This is astonishing. Mm -hmm. At the same time, addiction afflicts something like 23 million people, and we have about $700 million worth of cost to the nation as a whole overall. Now, there's a significant problem so number one, we have to educate people, we have to participate in understanding what the dimensions of this actually are. Mm -hmm. So with regard to the upcoming Bio-International Conference in June, uh, anything you can shed on maybe some educational sessions that are being developed uh, that might help towards sure. this? Sure. Very important. Bio has taken a proactive approach. With the help of that working group, we've defined three key things that we need to do as an organization. Number one, understand the biology and get policies that understand the biology of this terrible affliction that's hitting this country, this crisis. Mm -hmm. Number two, we have to understand how we can help the patients get the right medicines at the right time to help them ameliorate the disorder or in fact to replace current medicines that are addictive. And mm -hmm. number three, we have to actually spend time now helping all of the regulatory agencies stimulate and excite uh, and accelerate actually the development of new medicines. I, I couldn't agree more. I've, I've been, while I've been here at BioCEO, I've attended several sessions on the opioid and the addiction problem. It's, it's much bigger than I think people realize. Well, Jeremy, thanks for making the time for us today, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.